When I was explaining Kin Blunt Weapon and Chris Doll, a lot of idiots, of course, yeah, in the clip channel. You know exactly which clip channel it is. But there's a lot of idiots over there, obviously. There was like just saying like, oh, this guy is wrong. It's better at, at like 58%. Even though I'm talking about entropy class right there. Yeah, fucking idiots, but yeah, that's basically how it goes right there. So this is the table right here. We got it already. It's fine for me. Okay, okay. Yeah, I don't know. It's good. Nah, we'll just do this, I guess, for now. So, yeah. We'll just, like, we can scroll to the right anyway for later. But, yeah. People were asking, what is this chart for? This is basically Kin Blunt weapon efficiency. This is basically... So, ignore what Kin Blunt does. The effect of what it does right now. This is basically a damage gain that you get from using Kin Blunt. The top one is your critical rate. The, bot, uh, the, the left one is your base critical chance. The critical chance that you have pre keen blunt. So yeah, that's basically how it goes right there. So yeah, so, this is the critical rate right there. Chi, critical rate right here. Uh, and this one is critical damage. So uh, uh, the critical dam base critical damage. So yeah, you mean base, I mean, I don't mean base critical damage as in like that. I, mean, I meant like, you know, pre keen blunt. So like let's say like you have like uh, you don't have any critical damage modifier then your critical damage would be on 200 and as we said right the number of like the efficient damage is basically 58% is when it's equal as Chris Doll. So at 60% crit you have like 16.4% damage increase at basically base critical rate. So this is what you have right here right. But I mean like people were like uh when I was explaining Kin Blunt Weapon and Chris Doll, a lot of idiots, of course, yeah, in the clip channel. You know exactly which clip channel it is. But there's a lot of idiots over there, obviously. There was like just saying like, oh, this guy is wrong. It's better at, at like 58%. Even though I'm talking about entropy class right there. Yeah, fucking idiots. But yeah, that's basically how it goes right there. So this is the table right here. We got it already. Is there any table for crit damage efficiency and not Kin Blunt Weapon? Uh, crit damage efficiency. I mean like you have to like make it up yourself because like it's hard to make it's hard to like make it <laughs> because like there is a lot of like a uh, variation there like what's the crit damage what's the crit rate and all of those stuff but Kin Blunt weapon is static it's always 50% critical damage with the chance at the 10% chance of like reducing your damage by 20% that one is static so you can make a chart based on that so yeah it would be nice to see the chart go under 200 crit damage to account for precise dagger builds uh probably but precise dagger build is pretty shit anyway generally unless you have like a massive critical damage multiplier to begin with so yeah but anyways this is the critical damage right here so most people always ask right there why don't why don't you run kin blunt if you're playing back attack class on striker on search blade i see everyone in korea running it well yeah genius they have bracelet you fucking idiot this is the thing right here you don't have it right so whenever i say that, like you should avoid kin blunt if you're an entropy class because at entropy entropy level one is 55 percent like a uh, critical damage right so this is where you end up this is your base right here if you want to use kin blunt then for it to be equal to like a curse doll it would be right here Basically, so you want 85% critical uh, critical rate if you want Kin Blunt to be as good as Chris Doll. Now you tell me you have 85% critical rate as an entropy class that like let's say plays spec like let's say Blade. That's uh, that blow striker. Damn dude, I don't know what it was right there. You sold your soul to the devil, I guess, or you run precise dagger. But yeah. Kin Blunt is uh, not that good. Now here is the thing, right? Usually it's still like one of the best one. Like for example. With bracelet and everything, you would have around like 70 to 80% critical rate. It's not, it's still not as good as a cursed doll. But, it's your second best. You can, you, what else can you run? You wanna run disrespect? That's worse, that's 11%. So in the end, you run like Kin Blunt anyway. That's why in Korea, you run Kin Blunt. But it's not really like, you know, the main engraving that you should do. This is what the, uh, the efficiency, efficiency right here. Not to mention sometimes when you raise the level of your entropy, your critical damage goes higher as well. So yeah. Red Lancer? Red Lancer doesn't run Kin Blunt. Wait, what do you mean? What about Red Lancer? But almost all the DB striker use spec bracelet. It's spec and crit bracelet. It's not spec bracelet, it's spec and crit with precision that gives them 5% extra critical rate at best. That's why. So yeah, I'll take 1% less damage to avoid crystal negative. I mean, it's up to you. I'm just saying this is the one. 
You know, you can argue what you want, but that's subjective. That's on you. People ask always like, what's the most efficient? This is the most efficient. You don't like it? I don't care. Who cares what you like? <laughs> so yeah, can you please link this page? Yeah, sure. Okay, use my own formula, 70% crit for 15%, 79%, 69%, assuming you hit back attack 64% of the time. I mean, that that's like uh, assuming like you hit the back attack and everything. There is of course like variation over there, but this is like counting like, you know, when you do it like optimally of course. So, yeah. But Chris Doll, don't multiply others buff while Kin Blunt does. Who said it doesn't? <laughs> Who said it doesn't? See what I mean right here? People come up with their own like calculation right here. Who's, who said it doesn't? <laughs> Kin, uh, Chris Doll, don't multiply other attack power from other engravings. That's it. So yeah. Chris Doll amplifies attack power buff, yes. As long as it's not your engraving. If you have adrenaline, then yes, it's additive. But the support buff buffing your attack power, that's multiplied as well. A red dust multiplies crystal as well. Yeah, where did you hear that? <laughs> but yeah, will the finalized PTR change come out today? Probably like at the end of the like uh, pre-reset basically. On reset, on reset. So yeah. Basically, that's how it goes right now. How long until we get bracelet? Uh, 1490 content, Brawl Shaza, basically. So yeah, that's 1490 plus basically. You, you can just keep it that way because what you get is still relic bracelet, not ancient bracelet as well, by the way. Ancient bracelet has like more like stats, more like a uh, buff and everything like that. Something like that basically. You can change it later when you get to ancient where you're gonna change it to 5 by 3 and 1 anyway. Then at that point you can use the bracelet. But for now, uh, I feel like just avoid it if you're an entropy class that uses like Kin Blunt. Unless you can reach this uh, critical rate at 85%, I mean sure. By all means, go ahead if that is the case. So, yeah. Also, multiplies with ready attack. Which one is ready attack? It multiplies the re remaining energy as well, for people that are wondering. Multiplies search blade like stacks as well. So, yeah. Any clue how much percent damage is 1% crit? Uh, if you have 0% crit, 1% crit is 1% damage. So, yeah. If you have 0% crit. The higher you go, the less damage gain it gets. So yeah, ready attack is those tripod that increase attack power. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay, okay. I don't know like what's the name of that, but yeah, those does like multiply attack power from Chris Doll as well. Can I check new set with Akan? Uh, maybe we don't know. No one knows yet. So yeah. Uh, not today. Our rings, I think. I think like a uh, hell clown is not for today. Uh, there is no schedule for hell clown today. But yeah, this is like Kin Blunt weapon efficiency right here. So yeah, again, for people that missed it uh, earlier, the top one is your critical rate. The left one is your critical damage pre-Kin Blunt. If you have Entropy, then your critical damage is right here. If you have like nothing, then it's right here. Or if you have, like, say, let's say, Lone Knight. Lone, Lone Knight give you like about, what? I forgot, 30% critical damage or something? Basically, you look at that, basically. Something like that. So yeah, this is how it is right now. But yeah, this is the Kin Blunt uh, efficiency chart right here. In case people are wondering. So yeah, people should know this already. I think like uh, Memo like made this already as well. But there is a lot of people that were like Pepe going around left and right right there. Spreading around like misinfo. But yeah, anyways, that's the Kin Blunt weapon efficiency right here. Okay, anyways. Let's move on, let's move on. That's Kin Blunt weapon for you right there. Let's move on.